Let's start out the show with Cop and a Half New Recruit. In Cop and a Half New Recruit, we follow a tech-savvy teenager named Karina Foley, played by Lulu Wilson, who has an uncanny knack for solving crimes. Despite her age, she's taken under the wing of Detective Simmons, a veteran police officer. Let me be blunt, Roger, I truly dislike Cop and a Half New Recruit. It's a sequel that we didn't need and it offers nothing fresh or innovative. I hope you did not like this film like the garbage that came out in 1993. Did you? Yes, I did, and I must say I found this one to be another delightful treat. It's a family-friendly cop comedy with Lou Diamond Phillips stepping into the adult cop role and Lulu Wilson playing Karina Foley, the kid who is, against all odds, paired up with Phillips' Detective Simmons in an unlikely police duo. Oh, not again, Roger. The movie is just a reheated leftover from the 90s, and I'm afraid not in a good way. The plot is as predictable as it gets. A cyber attack threatens the city, and it's up to this mismatched pair to save the day. It's a far cry from the originality we expect in today's cinema. This movie wasn't any better than one back in 1993. Well, Gene, I think it's worth mentioning that the charm of this film lies not in its plot, but in its characters. The relationship between Simmons and Karina is just wonderful to watch. Lulu Wilson, despite her young age, proves herself as an actress. She displays an impressive range of emotions, and her comic timing is impeccable. Roger, I'd argue that even her performance couldn't save the movie. The original was a piece of garbage, and I don't see how this film improves on that. And to your point about Lulu Wilson, she certainly tries, but she is stuck with a script that feels like it was written 30 years ago. Gene, I think you're overlooking the point here. This isn't a film meant to push boundaries or innovate. It's a lighthearted family comedy meant to entertain. And it does exactly that. Wilson's banter with Phillips is sharp and funny. Their odd couple dynamic works and keeps the audience engaged. Roger, we can't just ignore the lack of creativity and development in film just because it's a sequel to a garbage, nostalgic film that you love so much. Audiences, even younger ones, deserve a quality plot with well-developed characters, not just retreads of old ideas. You have your point, Gene, and I have mine. I believe this film accomplished what it set out to do, provide a fun-filled ride for the whole family to enjoy. Lulu Wilson gave a performance that won't soon be forgotten. Well, Roger, I'll stick with my opinion. This is just another unnecessary sequel in a long line of them. The original was bad enough. Well, folks, it seems we'll have to agree to disagree on this one.